Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a pregnancy update. I am going to be 35 weeks in a few days. So I thought I would make an update video in case anything happens because I'm so close to having the babies. Um, for those of you guys who don't know and don't follow my page, I am expecting twins, boy girl twins. So I'm going to be eating my lunch while I tell you guys how I'm feeling. So don't mind me, a little bit of like ASMR. I have my high risk appointment today and it's like in an hour so I'm trying to eat while I make a video so I can multitask and I feel really gross doing that. What have been my symptoms this week? I am sick if you can't tell. I'm congested. Husband had croup last week and it was really bad. He's still like recovering from that he's really like backed up um finally gave it to me because i drink out of this all day long and apparently he does too so i think that's how i got it i don't have croup i just have like really bad sinuses and my throat hurts really bad and that's pretty much it but i've been taking tylenol um <coughs> I'm so sorry, I feel really bad, but everybody wants pregnancy updates, so I'm like, I might as well just make my update while I eat, and I'm sick, so yeah. So the last few weeks have gotten a little bit better. I feel like I've dropped, which I don't know if you drop when your babies are breech. Do you guys know if you drop? Does it just like get lower? but my baby's heads are still not head down, so I'm still scheduled for a C-section, um, which I'm okay with. I've been a little bit nervous about the whole entire thing. I've been watching a lot of um, videos and trying to educate myself, which is probably not a good idea because <laughs> You probably shouldn't watch videos that are going to happen to you so you don't freak yourself out. <coughs> <coughs> and I feel like that's what I've been doing, kind of freaking myself out. But a lot of people have given me reassurance <coughs> and have really made me feel a lot better about this whole C-section thing. I think that I've just come to terms with, okay, they're not going to move at this point. Do you need help? Okay, let me fix it. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've just like come to terms with that, so I'm fine. If they want to switch at this point, that's fine. Maybe they did switch. I'm going to find out today. I have my high-risk appointment in an hour. Come here, baby. Um, but I don't know. Maybe they can give me some like Mucinex because your girl needs some medicine. I've been taking Tylenol and I don't feel like it's cutting it. I'm not... I'm not the type of person that can't just like not have any medicine. <laughs> I feel like I'm always so, like whenever I'm sick, I'm just like the biggest wimp in the entire universe. That's why I'm like really nervous about this whole C-section thing. The last couple weeks, I've started to get some water weight, which I am very happy that I, like the last of my pregnancy is when I'm starting to get it. Um, because with Hudson, I felt like I got water weight like so fast and I was just like big, my arms, like my arms still are still fairly like okay. So I feel like good about that. But I <coughs> feel like this time around, I'm like just barely starting to get some like water weight. I feel like I've been all belly this pregnancy, which speaking of belly, I unfortunately got stretch marks this time around and I'm really, really sad, but I think I've just come to terms with, it's gonna happen. I'm having twins. Like I can't just like prevent, he looks like he's gonna die. I can't just like fully prevent that. And I know that I'm being like such a brat about it, but that was one thing that I was really, really nervous about getting was stretch marks. Luckily they're clear. So you can't like see them unless like the sun hits them in the right way. But, oh man, when I found out, I was so sad. But then I realized 
Honestly, I'm carrying two. My belly is so big. This time around, I didn't gain like any weight in my whole body except my belly. So I'm like, okay, I'm 5'1". I weighed a hundred and what, 12 pounds before I had the babies. I'm like 142 pounds right now. Pretty sure that's bound to happen at this point, getting stretch marks. But it's whatever. It's fine. I am okay with that. So yeah, um, I'm probably not gonna really do anything about them when I'm done having the babies, just cause they're not like dark and you can't really tell too much. I mean, I don't know, maybe in the next two weeks I'm gonna get like a whole handful of them. But I thought I was pretty much in the clear until a few days ago when Court was like, oh wow, you're getting a couple stretch marks. And I was like, oh dang it. But it's okay. So like I said, I feel like they've dropped but I don't know if that's possible. I'm gonna ask my high-risk doctor today. But yeah, I had like a little baby shower. My church threw me a little baby shower. And so I went to that and the first thing they said when I walked in was, wow, you dropped. I was like, did I really? Like, I just didn't feel like I did. I didn't know. Hi. You wanna go outside? Yeah. Okay, so I'm so happy I finished my baby um, nursery, which it honestly doesn't matter if I finish it or not because they're, they're gonna be sleeping in my room regardless. But anyways, I always feel so bad when I make these like pregnancy updates because I don't really have like too many updates. But I feel like people wanna hear me talk. But with me being almost 35 weeks, I feel pretty good. I'm really lucky that I'm not um, like on bed rest or anything. Thank you. And I'm happy about that. I'm kind of like, okay, if they come anytime, that sounds so bad of me. And everybody's like, you want to keep them in there as long as possible. But when you're pregnant with twins, you know what I'm talking about. It just, it's hard. It's a lot harder than being pregnant with just one. It's just so much like pressure. Um, I had a few really bad, like, Braxton Hick contractions a few days ago, which I thought I was kind of going into labor, but I wasn't. I feel like I always psych myself out because I'm the biggest wimp of all time. Um, so any type of pain, I'm like, it's happening, it's happening. But, anyways. So I'm working with Baby Brezza right now. It's a um, a company that has a bottle maker, like a formula maker, and I'm really excited about making a video on that for those moms out there that only do formula. So yeah, it'll be fun to do that. I feel like at this point, people just like kind of want to hear me talk just because twin pregnancies are so different than just a single birth, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's really different, but I feel like the symptoms are generally the same and I haven't had too many crazy symptoms, but we'll see today. I can't breathe. I'm so done, guys. I'm so done. Okay, I'm gonna end this video with a belly shot. I'm not taking my outfit off because I'm not about to bend down and take this off, but I'm gonna show you guys my belly. It's huge. Oh my gosh, if I can stand up. <laughs> and here is. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.